I have to think about uh, why, you know, this number, the 57% women going into STEM studies in Portugal. I'll go further back. My grandmother had a brother. She could go to primary school, but she could not go into high school. And uh, her brother could go because he was a man. Since then, we traveled a long way. Uh, in particular, laws have changed, and Dr. Leonor Beleza has also contributed to changing those laws. He's a, a great example and role model for women in science in Portugal, someone that really has fought for the rights of women in Portugal, for their education and for positions of leadership, but also someone that has, a, as a minister and as a head of a very important foundation, he is a role model for all of us. For many reasons, I could participate myself directly in those changes, mainly the legal ones as a lawyer. So I, I worked in the changes in the civil codes, which were the most complicated regarding the, the status of women. The fact that what happened in Portugal in those times was a revolution did help these changes to uh, happen faster and uh, uh, in a more compact way than what happened in higher societies, which uh, changed slower. Nowadays, if you look at uh, people that will be between 25 years and 34 years old, in that population, uh, more than 40% of the females will have higher education, whether only around 25% of the males will have higher education. So actually, if you look at the graph, it's completely inverted. What we do feel in general is that uh, women study more yeah, and they are more mature in general in education and they study more and they have better marks. They have better facility in entering very competitive degrees, including you know, medicine and uh, also degrees in the life sciences. In Portugal, something that also works very well is that we do have a lot of role models. So we have a lot of female that do science. We have directors of institutes. For me, to apply to be a director of an institute, having seen that we have other females that are directors of institutes, was an important thing. And in that sense, I, I, even though I don't like quotas in general, I think you need to have quotas in the beginning to ensure that you have the right role models. It's interesting to see it, the role women play in science today in Portugal. But it is not separated from uh, the roles women have been playing in, in many areas. Today you enter law school, or by the way, almost all university schools in this country, and you see many more women than men. Only uh, certain areas in engineering are still more male than female. Do not uh, uh, understand that uh, uh, by saying so, I am saying that things are solved. They are not. There is one thing which hasn't changed as fast, and it is power. It is power in any area. If you look at the way power is actually shared, we are very far in my country from anything we can really call equal status. And, and I think that it is the case also in science, although there are a number of women running scientific institutions. There are still many issues, in particular if you look at very top-level jobs like rectors of university and things like that, there you have a difference and you have more men. But when you look uh, downstream of it, you know, at the level of group leaders and professors at university, uh, we have a lot of females. There are things that still shock me nowadays. For example, I'm, I'm shocked that uh, a, a young female that wants to be a group leader but has a young kid, uh, in certain parts of the world, they are told that they cannot be a group leader. This still occurs nowadays, and I think this is something that we really have to fight. 
this is something that I don't feel here in Portugal. Um, in Portugal, it's actually very, uh, it's not very easy, but it's easy as compared to many other countries to actually put your children you know, in the nursery. Whether in many other countries in Europe, it's so expensive to put the kids in the nursery or there are no nurseries and they have to register like before they are thinking of having a baby. People should not accept that because they have a family, they cannot do what they want to do. Of course they can do. Maybe they just should avoid going to those places and you know, come to places like ours where you, know, you can do that.